Hi, Caleb with Roundhouse here, and we were getting set up to do a video, and uh, I was going to time this muzzle device for said video, and then I realized that's a video in itself. So in today's quick tip, we're going to be timing a muzzle device. All right, so first thing we need to do here, uh, we'll just move all the things I'm going to knock over at some point, and we'll separate this upper from this lower. All right, remove this bolt carrier group and charging handle. All right, and typically before I mount all this stuff on a receiver, uh, I would have the muzzle device already on there. But uh, the way things have happened and the way things panned out, we have everything already on there. So we're gonna we're just gonna go from there. All right, the upper receiver vice block I'm gonna be using is uh, the device Mark One. You can use your favorite upper receiver, holding fixture, whatever. Uh, this is my favorite, so it's the one I'm using. All right. Put the upper in said vice block. Like so. All right. Then I'm going to do this in a, a way which you guys can see it, and I might not be able to see it as well. All right, and I'm gonna get this light out the way for your viewing pleasure. And this is why M-Lock is awesome. This is just super easy. All right, unplug it. And uh, we'll be okay to leave the D-ball on. I'll just leave that there. All right, so we have our half 28 muzzle threads here. We have the muzzle device we're gonna be putting on it, uh, which is this Knight's Armament flash hider. And we need to, uh, technically you don't need to time this flash hider, um, depending on kind of where it falls. But what we're gonna do is time it so that the stud that sticks out the top if you can see right there. Uh, we're gonna time that so that it's in the 12 o'clock position. And then the rest of this process applies for pretty much any other muzzle device that you need to time. Now, since this is a suppressor mounted muzzle device, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is rock set it. So most suppressor muzzle device hosts, um, what they're gonna require is rock setting on those threads. So I'm not gonna do it here um, cause I'm probably gonna change this out in the near future, but all you would do is degrease the threads, just take your favorite you know, degreaser or whatever and spray it on the threads, both sides, let it dry. Uh, you can blow on it to get it to dry faster, just go and it'll dry a little bit faster. Um, and then you can apply a little bit of rock set and then uh, that's the, the rest of this process. So like I said, it's super self-exclamatory. I'm not gonna do it here. I'm gonna, just gonna do the tricky part for you guys. All right, so most of the time your muzzle device will come with shims, okay? But what I'm using here is the Brownells shim kit. This is like the super ultra mega master shim kit. Has shims for everything. All right. And a bunch of different sizes. So what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna take my muzzle device, screw it on. and see where it falls. All right, so we're right about at that 9.30 to 10 o'clock position. So what we're gonna need to do is apply shims until it bottoms out all the way back here. So if you look, you can visually see a gap right there since it's where it kind of needs to be. And at this point, some people will be like, oh, you need to get some feeler gauges, stick them in there, you know, measure your feeler gauges, and that tells you which shims to grab. Or you can big brain it and just use the shims as the feeler gauge. Uh, that way you don't need anything extra. All right, so I'm just going to grab some shims here. All right, so I have the thickest shim in there, which this looks like it's going to be too thick. So we'll just ditch that one. All right, we got a couple of smaller ones here. And I'll, I'll put it in kind of from this side here so you guys can see what I'm doing. 
that's all I'm doing right there is just kind of trying to fill that gap with the shims. And I'm just going to keep adding shims to it until I get the gap filled. Now, there are different thicknesses of shims, so you can get away with using less shims if you use a thicker shim. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter how many you use. You can use a bunch of the really small ones if you want. Or you can use a thick one and a small one. There's, there's no really right or wrong way. There's people out there that'll tell you you, you need to use the thickest shim you can and then so that you use less shims, but it's, it's really no big deal. As long as you're using good shims, they're nice and flat, uh, they're made the way they're supposed to be made, then it's not a problem. All right, so here's what I have here. I have these two shims, all right? And they just almost don't fit when it's at the 12 o'clock position. But if I back off a little bit, I can get them to slide right in. So that's good. You want to be a little bit off the 12 o'clock because when you torque this down, it's going to obviously want to turn. So if you get the shims to line up exactly at 12, when you torque it down, you'll be a little bit too far. So this is what we want right here. I'm going to unscrew this device here. I'm going to take the shims, slap them on. And tighten back down. All right. That's pretty close. That might be... That might be a little bit too much, but let's uh, let's just see where we end up. Yeah, so that's that's about as much torque as I want to put on it, and we're at about the about the eleven o'clock position, and that's not where we want to be. So we're gonna back off. All right. And I'm gonna keep this thick shim. And my thin one is not the thinnest one we have. So I'm gonna downgrade this one rather than the other. And tighten down. And that's the 12 o'clock position. So at this point, you have your rock set on there, your threads are degreased, and um, you're good to go. So another point I'll make here is if you're going to unsc unscrew it and screw it back on multiple times, uh, wait to put your rock set on until everything's timed. Uh, that way you get the most out of it. Now, this is it. This is all we need to do. If you use rock set at this point, you got to wait 24 hours before you do anything with it. Um, but if not, then you're good to go. So what we can do now is move on to the other videos that actually had planned with this setup. Now that we have the muzzle device installed and this is how you do it. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, anything like that, you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to post them down below. If not, you're watching this on the website, uh, then the products I used here will be linked down below. Uh, that includes the tools. That's actually mainly just going to be the tools. So uh, again, just find this video on the website if you're not already there, and uh, the links will be there. Any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.